is the Thule Cross Tour Chariot 2, the best running stroller on the market. Look, exercising with kids can be difficult, but it doesn't need to be impossible. I have biked or run more than 500 miles in the Thule Chariot Cross Tour with my kids. So my half marathon time is an hour and 40 minutes, and my 5K time is an 1840, and that's with both kids in the stroller. I share that with you so that you can see that like this thing doesn't just go the distance, like hundreds of miles of training, but it's also usable in race case situations when you're wanting to run fast. So for me, the answer to whether or not the Thule Cherry Cross Store is the best running biking stroller on the market is a simple yes, but I wanna give you my five reasons why and then five tips that I have for running with kids. So the first reason that I would say that you should consider the Thule is that it's beautifully and intentionally designed. Like even whenever you're watching this video, you can see the, the product was carefully thought through to look good. The materials that they used look good together, the colors, all of that is almost a timeless thing. The second thing is that it's intentionally designed. Every piece of this, every function of every, every part was carefully thought through, clearly placed so that the end user could have an easy experience with the product. And that's something that I absolutely love. So the second reason to consider buying the Thule is the quality of the materials. This polyurethane side paneling, for example, is super durable. My kids bump into it, poke into it all on the run. You don't have to worry about how they've connected everything. Their choice of zippers, like these zippers go super smooth up and down, so you don't have to worry about them catching and stuff like that. And then like, obviously it's holding me up. So there's that. And at the end of the day, it's just, it's a high quality product. So the third reason to get the Thule is because of the multifunction. Like I'm not into skiing, but they have an add-on that lets you go skiing if you want to. And then the ability to add on a legitimate running tire to the front of this, Obviously, you can use the little ones if you needed to. Like, I've certainly run with the little ones, but you can't push it as hard. And then as you're going, you do got to watch out for the wobbles. So that's a huge factor. Also, you can easily transform this into a biking stroller. And I've used this for hundreds of miles with my girls, and they love it because the suspension system on it is incredible. You can get up to great speeds. It's very comfortable for them. Also, you think of like how they designed the rain cover and how they connected the shade and how everything works together to make it easier to use on the run. This whole thing is just so well thought out, which brings me to the ease of use. The way that the tires pop off, the way that the rain fly pops on, the way that the back carrier space where you can put stuff clips on and off super fast. All of that stuff with the way that it just folds down and, and the way that the back wheels come off, they just pop off so simply that you almost feel like it shouldn't be that easy because of how sturdy it is, but it is. It's just fun and simple and easy to manage and put kids in and out and all of that. Which brings me to the final reason why I think this stroller is worth it and that is the ease of mind, the, the peace of mind. It's something that you can have confidence in, that you can depend on when you're out on the road, when you're miles from home, you know this stroller is gonna make it. And that peace of mind is something that's worth the money to me. Because when I'm out there on the run with my girls and it's a hot day and we're two to three miles from home, I need to know that I can get back. And with this, I know that I can. And that matters. Now, as I said, I'm committed to exercising with my kids and that's not always easy. Like staying healthy and being fit with kids can be difficult and the Thule certainly makes it easier, but I wanted to share five tips that have helped me stay healthy with the kids. So the first tip is just to take care of the essentials before you go on the run. Make sure the kids have gone to the potty, make sure they've gotten some food in them, and then make sure they've drunk some water and then have some water for the run, along with some snacks, so that everything is taken care of while you're out there. You don't have to worry about those main things. Sometimes on these long runs, like I'm out there from f for five to 10 miles, so 45 to 90 minutes, and you wanna make sure you're prepared for all of the time that's gonna take place for those kids while you're out there. Now the next tip is the few extras that I would recommend getting that don't come in the box with the Thule. And the first thing is the running wheel. If you're gonna do any sort of serious running, it's just worth getting the running wheel. It's very high quality and there's an easy way to adjust it, like the, the side thing you can adjust to make sure that it keeps running straight. Now obviously if you're just gonna be biking or something like that, then you could skip that part, but that would be the first extra that I would recommend if you're looking into running. You can run with the little wheels, but it, it's just not even close to the same. The other thing you're probably really gonna wanna get is a stroller organizer. It just goes right on the back. I recommend getting the double if you're 
going for this kind of size. We got the single and it's just not as much space as I'd like, but it's an easy place to keep your wallet, keep your phone, keep a couple of snacks and things like that that are easy access on the run. And all this stuff is linked in the description so you can quickly go find it if you're trying to figure out what I'm talking about or where it is on Amazon. And the very last thing that I recommend getting is the baby sling if you have a small child, that infant sling. We used it for my little girl and it was wonderful because it let me take both girls out a little sooner because when they're really small, you know, that first month, you don't want them in a normal seat. But if you have the sling, you can lock them in. You know, this thing's got a nice little pouch and it's got a little bounce to it, which is helpful when you're out there on those runs. So my third tip, which is like outside of buying Thule stuff for the stroller, is getting some USB fans. Having one in the front, and I also put one up underneath here, just makes it so much more comfortable for the kids when you're out on the run. The ability to have some fresh air blowing on them, especially if it's a hot day or something like that, is just really nice. And it makes the run a little bit more survival survivable for the kids as far as like if they're getting frustrated or something like that. These have worked really well for us, especially in the summer heat, to give our girls just a little bit of extra breeze when we're out on the run. All right, and now we are on to the fourth tip, which is get yourself a speaker. I love this JBL one. I'll put the link in the description, but I recommend putting this in the back of the stroller, which is where I placed it. And it's just an easy place to keep it. You fold that thing up, it sits comfortable, and the kids get to listen to music. And that will carry you through the last 15 minutes, the last couple of miles. Place some of their favorite songs and that will keep you or help you avoid some of the crazy crying that would happen otherwise. So the fifth and final tip for me is going to be books. Like it's just, it's the perfect thing for my kids. I don't like putting them on the iPad or the screen, but bringing a bunch of their favorite books and letting them just flip through the pages as we're on the run, it just kind of gets them through the time. This way they're just going to be flipping through pages, looking and imagining stories and things like that while still having some real world to engage with and not getting sucked into a screen. So here's the thing. This really is the best exercise stroller that I will ever own. My goal with this review was to give you the information you need to make a buying decision on this stroller. I hope that this review helped you see some of the features of the product that make it so amazing. And at the end of the day, I've had basically zero negatives with this product. I haven't experienced any problems. The only thing that's like slightly frustrating is when you're trying to get the front wheel aligned to keep going straight. But just a little bit of work with that, you're twisting the knob that lets you, you know, change the direction a little bit and you can fine tune that pretty quickly and you're good to go. So if you liked this, if this video helped you out, please put a like, subscribe to my channel, I wanna keep reviewing running stuff. I wanna keep reviewing tech stuff. I wanna make this a full-time career as a YouTuber. And the only way that I can do that is if I give you the things that you're interested in seeing. And if you do like them, then please like them, subscribe, help me out. And if there's anything that I mentioned that you feel like is the right thing for you, it certainly helps me if you use the Amazon links in the description. You know, I, I wanna build it an honest and legitimate relationship with my viewers that is full of integrity with the products that I review. So for right now, I'm just reviewing the stuff that I've come to love and enjoy over years of trial and error. And I hope that that is what you get out of all of these videos.
with that, let's end for the pun for the day, which is about socks. Because we've got a theme going with the last couple of videos or the next couple of videos that will be coming out in the future. And that is, how did the socks feel at the end of the run when they were taken off? They felt defeated. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.